Petco this morning. I don't know, you're like, wow, weren't you just at Petco? Duck, duck, duck. What is it? Duck, duck. A duck? Duck, duck. Duck, duck, duck. It's a finger. Finger? Yeah. Cool. We bought two things for push, a harness and a lead, just to see which would work best. Wasn't a fan of the harness, it was very big and cumbersome with this already rather large lead. So we've got like a lead slash walk aid in one. That's kind of working. So we're gonna roll with that and return this other one. And I've come to a different Petco so we can look at different animals. I know, smart. Gotta make your entertainment where you can. Speaking of which, I'm looking forward to getting settled in our new place so we can get a bit of a, of a rhythm and a, you know, meet some new people in the neighbourhood and do play dates and maybe Luna can go to some classes and such. And then, but until then, we go to Petco for fun. <laughs> How great is Luna's pants? I got those yesterday at Target. They were in like the sale section for $4.99 and they are the cutest little flares. So adorable. <laughs> Very proud mum this morning that Luna has decided to bring her book out with her. Very proud. Fun fact, when I was younger, we used to have guppies. Oh, and Oscar fish. Oscar fish go really, really big. So we had an Oscar fish that ate some guppies. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, I used to have lots of guppies. Um, me and mum were big on our tropical fish. And then we had an Oscar fish. They got too big. But he got to like that big maybe. And they grow to like this big. I can't. Luna, look up here. Look here. Just like the picture there, they just wear it in the front. He wants out? So that might be the right spot. He wants out? Uh oh. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Luna, where are we? <laughs> Benefits of having a car now? Just pop to the park for a little bit on the way home. Just literally just pop in, drive to the park for a quick, quick play on the way home. It's not a whole expedition just a quick pop in avoid the mud avoid the mud go around oh no come over this way i just realized i never bought the camera up we must have been upstairs for like three hours and it's like i just realized two, two, four. It's two. It's loves counting luna just woke up from her nap and we're gonna pull out the toys we got yesterday. But Luna doesn't know that I actually got more than you think. Also, I just, it's really important to just acknowledge the mess in this place. There's literally stuff everywhere. It's an absolute, it's a mess, but we know it. <gasps> Who's that one? Kit. Cruz Ramirez? Who else do we have? Lightning. Me. Maida. Do you know who the other last one is? Look at this one. Who's this? Six. Guido and Luigi. Let's get them open. That's so cool. It was really hard to pick which to get. There's so many different versions. Like there's actually, there's like six or seven versions of Lightning Queen. Yeah. So we got the fireball beach version, so he's like a little dirty looking. And then the Maida we got, Maida looks dirty. I don't know, these are so great though. And Luna loves cars. And then we had to get Cruz Ramirez because we needed a strong female influence amongst all the cars that were boys. Enjoy. <laughs> So I'm a bit rushed at getting out the door, had my timing down pat, and then Push decided that he like needed to go for a poo, but was also too distracted to actually do it. It took a very long time to get out of the house, so I'm really late, but that's fine because Nath has to stop off somewhere on the way anyway. I'm gonna, we're gonna go meet Nath for dinner at the place that does the mad, mad seafood boil with those delicious prawns, and then afterwards, we're gonna sign our lease. Yes. Oh, 
now. How? Sorry about the terrible footage at dinner. We forgot the camera in the car. No, I forgot the camera in the car. I was happy to share blame. Things I'm really good at the moment. Forgetting the camera, and then any footage I do manage to capture, I'm gonna delete it later. <laughs> How's this red light? Gross. Well, We're being lit by the tail lights of the car in front of us. Also, my lipstick's all messed up because I just ate the meanest seafood boil. We are now driving to the new house. We're driving home, but technically, it's not home until Saturday. Continue on. Well, we're actually driving home at the time you'll be driving home. So this is your evening commute, Melon. Welcome, Nathan Melon, to your evening commute. <laughs> Whoa, have more trouble focusing on my face. Party! Have you told them what's going on? I said we were going to the house to sign a new lease. Whoa! That light sucks. I'm really sorry, guys. I don't like this. It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're signing our lease today, but we don't move in until Saturday. Hey, see? <laughs> Now the focus. Whoa! We're signing the lease, and then on Saturday, I can't remember if I mentioned it earlier. I'm assuming you didn't. The movers. Yes. Oh, focus. We're back at lights again, and we're stopped. Hey. Hey. The oh. movers are coming on Saturday. The movers are coming on Saturday morning with our staff from New York. It's very exciting. Yeah, and now we're off. We're doing that. So, um, well, yes. <laughs> How's your dinner? Ah, uh, how good is a seafood boil, though? I mean, you guys know we're here for a seafood boil, but... Prawns, or as they call them here, shrimp, which is still very confusing because they are two different things. Um, we are all about that right now. Somebody correct me below if I'm wrong or confirm. I could Google this. I, I'm pretty sure they, they, they differentiate by saying like cocktail and giant shrimp. So they like, oh, so like we shrimp is like short. That was cocktail shrimp. And then tonight we had big shrimp. Yeah, and they had giant shrimp on the menu at their place the other day too. Gotcha. Yeah, so I think that's how they differentiate, whereas we differentiate by just giving them two completely different names. Makes it way easier. I mean, theoretically, they are one and the same, like from the same familia. Yeah, but so are kangaroos and wallabies, and we don't give them the same name. Oh. Wallabies are just small kangaroos. They're literally the same. It's, it's the same conversation. Am I right, guys? <laughs> I'm just really being no. Wrong. <laughs> We have keys. We're back at home. The bubba's in bed. We didn't film anything while we were there. We we're there with our landlord, so we didn't want to make it weird, you know? Um, but we'll give you a good tour of the house once we're, we're in. You'll see us unpacking and all of that. That's happening Saturday. I know Fee said our movers are confirmed. They're delivering our stuff. We've signed the lease. We've paid all the things. And we've got keys. It's such a like. I think we said this the other day, but like to have the house organised, to have a car, like all of, like the two such big things that make a huge difference. I think we already feel incredibly settled here considering we're not even in a home and there's still so many things that we're going to work out. Like sorting out some childcare for Luna and Fee's going to, you know, probably start working again in the next like few months and all of those sorts of things, but like for two weeks in, I and mean, we both feel incredibly settled, all things considered, since we're living out of a suitcase. That's, that's pretty incredible. And, and we'll only feel even more and more and more settled as we get into our place now and, and start to get sorted, which is gonna be very exciting. But yeah, Saturday, Saturday we move in. Is that exciting, mate? Yeah. But until then, well, we won't see you then, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is not Saturday. A couple more days until Saturday. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Gonna lift it up. Ever's got me down. I'm gonna lift it up. Ever's got me down. Gonna lift it up. Whatever's got me down.